Hi, we're here at NAM 2018, and I have two of my friends here, and uh, we're going to talk to Rod Black first about his magazine. Yeah, <laughs> it's a magazine. Yeah, it's, it's a print magazine. Yeah, it's like a magazine you can hold in your hands. Whoa! People love the tangible still, so. Thank the Lord. I think people like to uh, actually gra physically grab something they can look at. You know, a lot of us generation grew up with magazines, so it's. To me, it was important to you know to make sure that the, keep that keep that old school dream alive, and it's few and far between. But yeah. I think the content of the magazine is so diverse that when a lot of the magazines start to fall off, this has the the models and the music and the movies and the photographers and you know the model. You know, it, it has everything. So I think hopefully that'll bode well, but it also could go the either you know it could go either way. Well, I was looking at it last night because Rod actually gave me some copies which are very cool and I was looking through it and you have you know a lot of iconic people in there you know you have Dan Sperry which we had in Girls and Corpses you have Marilyn Manson you had um uh, yeah, I'm trying to throw everything in there uh, hip hop Aesop Ferg uh, Dave Mustaine from Megadeth Alice Cooper you know people that I've had a relationship with I did a magazine called Son of Spam in the 90s through Tower Records and it allowed me to make a lot of relationships with new bands like the Deftones and Korn you know Megadeth was in their prime then and and you know so it allowed me to kind of make those relationships and then uh, when Bobby and I got together we decided hey let's go back and, and and make sure we get all those big names in there so that way we can also support the underdogs you know, by slipping those in, uh, you, you got to put the big names in there to get the issues sold, but then you can put people that need the exposure. Brilliant. You know, Brilliant. The underdog fans. And, Brilliant. So what do you think, Bobby Real? Oh, I love this. You know, this project was really fun. You know, Rod, this is obviously his brainchild. And uh, since we started talking about it a couple of years ago, man, I just seeing this thing come to life. It's this beautiful, this beautiful blossoming of a magazine. And again, print is not dead. People love to hold these magazines in their hand. And that's the thing we say. Most people give us their feedback. It's like, I want that on my coffee table. When people come in, they want to see, they have this amazing cover art and then you open it up and it's just filled with more amazing art. And uh, I think it's uh, definitely a magazine for the people. You know, it's very tight. It's very tight. Thank and the you, design, so much. whoever's doing the, uh, your design Robert's is... really, really hard. It's all, this is 100% his brainchild uh, as far as the creative aspect of this. Uh, I'm just along for the ride to try to push it along and uh, add, my, add my help and flexibility here when I can. And, you know, cool. be out here a man of the street. Man of the street. No, if you're a man of the street, you'd be out there hooking. I know. Well, you know, that was last night. <laughs> oh, that's what I heard. That was last How do you think night. we pay for this? That's what I heard. <laughs> Secrets revealed. But Bobby is actually like a one of my favorite humans uh, on the planet, and B, he is a tattoo artist, and he's a very, very good one. So, thank do you, you want so to much? Talk about that yeah, you know, uh, you can find me on Art of Bobby Real, uh, R E A L. And uh, again, just having a lot of fun. Um, my clients are my biggest asset. They just, uh, they take really good care of me and they've allowed me the opportunity to do things like this and uh, get involved with more creative projects like Mass uh, Media Magazine. And uh, it's just, it, it keeps, uh, keeps growing and growing. So yeah, thanks for the support, love. No. Well, you know, we love you guys and- Thank you. Uh, we love you too. Very, very cool. And good luck with the magazine, it rocks. And I, and I think Justin, that's another thing about the magazine I think is very important, just real quick that it's really revolves around ink. And that's a culture that you come from and that you kind of basically, I mean, not to toot, toot your horn, but you being an icon in the industry, you were shooting a lot of the, a lot of that ink and we want to kind of carry that torch for the ink, whether that's movie stars with ink, athletes with ink, tattoo artists, rock stars, uh, you know, anybody that has ink. That it's kind of an evolution of ink that just surrounds the whole entertainment industry and I think that's you know being a photographer me being a fellow photographer I, it was so hard to deal with magazines following through on publishing I'm like you know what I'll just start my own magazine but I won't just make it about my photography I'll make it about everybody because no, this is all very visual based obviously absolutely. you know yeah but, yeah I mean like I totally get it because if I started a magazine it would look exactly like that. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? You're, and you're very creative, I so I, I would... That's a huge compliment. You know, and, and, and at some point, we're going to have you in this bad boy, so... Anytime, Absolutely. Anytime.
got to have the got to have the goddess in there oh. with that red hair oh. with, the, with this awesome red hair. Uh-oh. <laughs> Pick it up. All mass, right. Mass Media Magazine. Pick them up today. You can find them everywhere. Barnes and Nobles. Pick them up. 7-Eleven. Uh, we're working on the the airport. 7-Elevens, plaid pantries, and airports are the the three like. Those are the plateaus you want to reach. The airports are completely separately done with a distribution company, but we just signed with the biggest distribution company in the world, uh, the News Group. So now we'll be at all the newsstands, all the stores, all the Rite Aids, all the, pretty much anywhere you can find a magazine. From there, then we go to the distributors that are in Canada, uh, Asia, and you know, we've got an agent that's now handling the magazine that specializes in overseas. So I mean, we're after two years, we couldn't have asked for a better, a better jump. I mean, it. Let me yeah. ask you this. I know we're on camera, but um, do you know about the chick who makes those microphone stands? Those out of animal bones, all that shit. She's selling them to Marilyn Manson and everything. I, I, I've heard of. She's I, a booth here, and oh, I'm really? going over, Yeah, I'm oh, going to uh, interview her next. Oh yeah, I would love to see that. But, dude, like you should have her in the magazine. Yeah. I would. I, love, I would even shoot her and like, you know, if you want to put her in anybody there. Anybody that has an artistic mind, That's it could right. be an artist. I mean, like we have a lot of like Paul Booth, who's also an artist. He's a friend of mine. Artist. Yeah. And then you've got like Chet Czar. You know, we yeah, we want we want all that in there. I'll, just the visual, creative people. That's what we want. That's kind of what we're what we're doing. This crazy mic stand. Yeah, well, we'll we'll go in there and check it out with I, you for I'll sure. Take, I'll take uh, a picture of him because we're yeah. gonna go see her, Do it. and then I'll text you the pictures. Love it. Yeah, love it. and you'll see it, and he'll flip. When he sees them. Well, thanks for the, thanks well. for the love today. Oh, we love I always love that seeing love you. For you. Love ah. you guys. Yeah. <laughs> hey, mass media. Mad love. Check Renegade it out. Radio. Woo.